Hi guys. Now being on a raw food diet means that the majority of the food you eat has not been heated over 40 degrees Celsius. In its simplest form, what that looks like is homemade fruit juices for breakfast, large amounts of fruits such as bananas, mangoes, apples, pears, oranges throughout the day, and eating a green salad for dinner. You get a very large hydrating volume of food a high density of minerals, and a low amount of calories. I was on a raw food diet for about eight months, and while I found that I felt really great in some areas, I didn't feel so good in others. Now most people initially find the idea of a raw food diet overwhelming, but today I'm going to share some tips that I learned from the raw food world that I had never heard of before that anybody can use to increase the amount of fruits and vegetables in their diet and feel great. So one of the first things I'm going to talk about is my spiralizer. This little gadget turns anything into noodles. And it's so useful because you can switch up some, the most popular type of noodles in the raw food world are zucchini noodles for any type of pasta that you're usually eating. Even substitute zucchini noodles in your lasagna and get a much healthier, lower calorie dish. I've got some links in the description bar of this video to some of my favorite recipes for zucchini pasta dishes. I'm also going to be making my favorite recipe for teriyaki noodles, which will be coming up soon. I got my spiralizer for about $35. You can get it from places that specialize in raw food, um, organic food places might have them. I purchased mine from a place called Nourish here in Edmonton. I would recommend getting yours from Earth's General Store. The second idea I want to introduce you to is the idea of using colored leaves as wraps or sandwich bases. Now, I know a lot of people, like if you're like me, like if you're making a wrap, um, you don't want it to break. You don't want there to be holes or leaks. You don't want it to be awkward to fold. You want to be able to hold it properly. And trust me, the colored leaf is amazing for that. All you need to do is to take, um, remove the spine part of the plant, and here's how you do that. My third great tip is to use a head of romaine lettuce as a sandwich. I first heard of this idea from a Megan Elizabeth video. Again, it's linked in the links below. Basically what you do is you take a head of romaine lettuce. Now you can buy these in packs in the store and all you do is separate the leaves inside in the middle and put all of your sandwich ingredients inside. You know, and then you can drizzle your dressing in. You pretty much just fold the top over and just start eating it. And it's amazing. Uh, I think a lot of people have been really looking into the influence of gluten in their diet. I personally haven't really gotten into that type of thing myself. I do think that processed bread sandwich over a sandwich that you're eating with a whole head of romaine lettuce is a much better choice. Most people put lettuce in their sandwich anyways. It's a really sneaky way of getting a whole head of lettuce into your stomach. And again, it takes up a lot of volume. You really do feel full um, and it's very hydrating and full of minerals. It's a great alternative. So this is the first part in a little series I'm going to be making. I'll probably be making two more videos about raw food tips that anybody can use. It just kind of depends on how this video is received. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've tried any of these things, if you have any extra tips or anything you want to see a video about. I post new videos on this channel every Sunday, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent week and a healthy life.